Hello everyone, welcome back. The smile that you are seeing right now on my face is gonna disappear very soon because today we are playing my most hated deck. Those are a few of the cards I hate the most personally in Clash Royale. Some are pretty easy to recognize. We have Evo Firecracker, obviously, uh, X-Bow, uh, Recruits are very very annoying and no skill, Little Prince, it, there's a reason why it's called Little Bitch, Mega Knight, it's my personal thing. I have nothing against the Mega Knight itself. I mean, kinda. It's just that I really struggle to defend it for how easy it can be. It just always jumps on my tower, so that's why I hate it. Rocket feels just like it's high skill, obviously, because it has a very small range, uh, like a small radius, but it can literally save your life with just six elixir in very, like, in, in circumstances when Rocket is literally the only thing that could save you. Furnace is the most annoying spawner, it's garbage, I am aware, but I hate it. And Magic Archer is, is a love-hate relationship, I love the card, the concept of the card, but after playing so many games against people that played on the bridge at every single opportunity to get even one ch shot of cheap damage, makes it so stress-inducing knowing that your opponent could do it at any time, even though it, when it's just like the worst play ever, but people can get away with it, it's incredibly annoying. So yeah, this is the deck we'll be playing today. Probably, if I thought about this a little longer, I could find other cards that I hate. Um, probably, I like these eight here are not the ones that I hate the most, because maybe there are some I just forgot about, <laughs> even though I spent here like 10-15 minutes trying to remember which cards I actually hate, because, believe it or not, I don't wake up in the morning thinking, reminding myself which cards in Clash Royale I hate the most. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, those are those, those were the ones that basically came to my mind, and there are like Firecracker, Exbo, and Little Prince had to be here. Like th those are easily my top three worst cards. So incredibly annoying. Little Prince kind of dropped a little bit with time because you know it is it has gotten slightly less strong, which makes it a little easier to deal with. I will. Okay, I was not aware that he would do such a play, and now I don't have anything for this, and I think I were gonna lose the tower. And not only the tower, we cannot really even punish him. I was hoping we can, like, at least take the tower in return, but it looks like we will not even be able to do it. Unless... I mean, yeah, I think we got it. Okay. I know poison was coming, I just didn't know how soon it would come, and I think it's late enough so that we actually do take the tower, or at least almost. That was unfortunate. If I only had a small spell, um, I could have defended the right side without losing the tower, I think. Uh, just throwing a very, very late log or something, and it would have worked like a charm. But I kind of don't have small spells, because I don't really think there are any spells that are outright... like annoying in such a way that you could describe them as, like, I, I could hate them, like, just per se, like, l log, snowball, like, those are probably the most annoying, but not annoying enough, I feel like, to, like, put them in this deck. Okay, gonna play Mega Knight here. He's not gonna defend the left side, right? There is no point. I'm gonna go for Magic Archer. I'm gonna go for Firecracker in the pocket. That's why you love Firecracker. Look at it. Look at look at it go. Look at how much damage. Holy shit. Uh, Little Priest is kind of taking the three crown there. <laughs> Nado comes down. Okay. Please let me. Okay. I was hoping I did hit the Little Prince. Rocket does 492, so it's not true Rocket's range. But if he gives me such an alignment, please tell me I got it. Okay, one, one more, one more, one more and we got it! I don't even need to do anything. He played the baby dragon in the only spot where he shouldn't have played it. I don't know what he was thinking. We actually got a 3 crown with this garbage deck. That's a great start to the video. Let's open the tower, troop, chest, whatever. We get some nice cannoneers. Let's go. Um, I'm even gonna upgrade it live here for you. Level 11. It's not taking along by any means <laughs> like level 11 still three more levels to go plus 
Elite wildcards to bring it to level 15, they have to make it easier to upgrade. There is no way that can they that they can add more tower troops and keep them so hard to upgrade, considering that like people just cannot really use new content for updates because obviously you cannot play an underleveled tower. Like you can play an underleveled troop even though it's not great, but a tower, like the tower is always there. A troop is in your hand once every eight cards. The tower is always there, so playing with that underlevel tower is like the worst thing ever. So they have to make it slightly easier to upgrade in some way. Um, yeah, random rant here, but I, I just feel like they have to do it. Plus, uh, I already talked about it in another video. I didn't even play Furnace once, by the way, in the game before. <laughs> I hate it so much that I don't even want to play it. Um, they, I'm struggling to think how they're gonna make uh, tower troops interesting with the time that goes on, because obviously making a tower troop... Okay, I was kind of scared there. Making a tower troop that um, deals more damage and shoots slower is like the most basic tower troop they could have made, and they have to come up with something else, and I'm really curious what they're gonna think about, because there is no way they released a whole ass update about tower troops just to... No! I... The Guardian should have popped there. I got scammed. Um, no, I didn't want to play Recruits. That was not the time to play Recruits. Oh well. Um, yeah, they can't release a whole update just to release one tower troop and then be like, yeah, we are done. <laughs> Even though there is some people that would like this. Even remove the Cannoneer, because the Cannoneer is already quite annoying for some people. I still haven't gotten annoyed enough at it, because there is not enough people that have it at a high level. But I'm pretty certain that if I played against it more, I would be already pissed. Pretty much, like, quite a lot about it, because it's definitely one of the un more annoying cards on the spectrum. Please don't let the skeleton go on my tower. That's not on my tower, right? I'm always scared about skeleton, giant giant skeletons, whatever. Let's go, Guardian! <laughs> My god, the Guardian. Best card ever. Um, okay, I will split recruits. Not really the greatest play, I just want to cycle back to the evil recruits because I need them if I want to achieve anything here. I'm gonna go for Exbow. I'm gonna go for Firecracker here on the Valk. Um, I'm gonna go for... No, 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 no. That's bad. That's quite bad. Please tell me it can kill the Firecracker. We need to get rid of it. Okay. That's on the tower, right? And the bomb didn't even hit the Exbow. That's huge. And he needs to zap as well. I will go Mega Knight here. So he cannot really... And he does go in for the Hog Rider anyways. I have to play Furnace. I don't really want to get like... What would it be? Three or four Hog Rider shots on my tower. That's kind of too much. Um, he's probably not back to Inferno Tower yet. I'm gonna play Little Prince here. Just to chip down the Skeleton... Gen Skeleton. I'm gonna play Exbow. Uh, he's gonna play Valk, probably. That's a crazy play, but I feel like I can kind of allow myself to do it. What have I been doing right now? <laughs> I mean, it kind of worked, right? <laughs> That's King Tower activation. Can come in handy, maybe. Not really sure. Um, I'm gonna go for Firecracker, just to cycle back to the evolution. We have Rocket, which is huge for us. I'm gonna go for Split Recruits here. He doesn't have Hog Rider yet. That's a stressful game. Uh, he will probably tank with the giant skeleton, fair enough. I'm gonna go for little prince. Expo. I'm gonna go for magic archer. I'm gonna go for firecracker. On the tower, he managed to play the hog rider. Wait, 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 wait. This is, is this over? He's gonna zap, right? Yep, but we are in rocket range, and that's another dub! Holy fucking shit. Duh. That was close. Not really close, but that was intense. I had to clutch there at the end, but it was close for the whole game, more or less. Medical chest, nice. Um, do I have keys? I should do, right? Yep. Let's use the keys to open the magical chest. Is it needed? Nope, but we are doing a crazy chest opening on live. In video. Legendary, what is it gonna be? Type it in the comments! Oh my god! Electro Wizard, if you got it, make sure to smash like it! I'm not gonna do that, don't worry. Um, 
let's go for another game, shall we? Uh, I'm having so much fun playing all these cards that I love so incredibly much. But I'm kind of playing them all. I'm not, like, avoiding playing one specific card, more or less. I'm, like, uh, using most of the cards. I'm kind of abusing Little Prince here because it's very strong. One skeleton shot. That, that's good. Um... Okay, let's go Little Prince. Uh, here, what do I do? Do I go Mega Knight? I think I have to. Could have went for Little Prince ability as well, but I think it would be kind of wasted. Mega Knight is gonna jump on the Wizard. And now that we have a nice counter push. That's gonna be quite a challenge to defend considering that he wasted quite a lot of Elixir there. Can we push that away? No, we cannot. And he has many pack as well. Uh, I think I have to... I don't know why this one goblin didn't die. Not sure if I misplaced the furnace, but I'm pretty sure that it should full counter a goblin barrel. Maybe I'm just wrong. Greatest firecracker I've ever seen in my life. Like, I, I mean, he got some chip, I guess, but... Wizard, such a lovely card. Um... At least it kind of dies. Recruits get some nice damage on the right side. Okay. I didn't have to worry about that wizard. Gonna go for Firecracker in the same lane just to make sure he doesn't do anything. Yep, that was that, that was kind of what I was expecting. Now the Firecracker splashes on the wizard. Hopefully before it shoots. God damn it. That's so much damage. Uh, gonna go for Expo in the right lane here. He's gonna go for... Nothing? Okay, he goes for mini pack up Dark Prince. Gonna go for the ability now. This, okay, nice. That's more or less what I wanted to achieve. I need to keep Furnace ready. Gonna go for Magic Archer here. Furnace for the Goblin Barrel. Okay, that was a poorly placed uh, Goblin Barrel, which is great. Now I will let the Firecracker connect. I will go for Recruits from the back. Oh, he has Peck as well. Okay, go for Evil Firecracker. Just start to chip down the Wizard. That's mostly what I want to achieve here. Recruit's gonna tank for the Firecracker, which is all we wanted. I wanted the Wizard to stay in the same lane, but, I mean, it works. He actually activated the King Tower with the Magic Archer. That was kind of unexpected. I'm gonna go for Mega Knight here. Uh, I think I have to go for Furnace here. Yeah, that's not ideal. Hmm. Yeah, that's not great. Please don't get too much chip. No, that one firecracker is gonna take my tower. Fuck. Try to go for expo, I guess. I don't know what to do other than this. Uh... I have to go for Furnace, I think. That's the only play I have. But we don't have anything for the for his Goblin Barrel, which is the biggest issue here. Let me go for this. He will have to be forced to play P.E.K.K.A. or something. Now go this. Get some chip. No, not enough. That's over. That's over. I tried my best. <laughs> I did really try my best. Uh, that was, like, incredibly hard. Probably not impossible, but managing a firecracker, goblin barrel, and skeleton barrel all at the same time without having a small spell was incredibly difficult. I didn't even talk much because I was truly trying to win this, but oh well. Um, almost had it, not enough. Uh, that deck is not good at all. It's not only because I hate the cards that are part of it, but it's just completely garbage. Don't even try to play it. Skeleton barrel, by the way, is one extra mention I wanted to include, but I decided to go for magic archer just because I feel like it annoys me way more when I play against it. The Skeleton Barrel is just more consistent, you could say. Skeleton Barrel is annoying in everyone's hand. Magic Archer is annoying only when some people play it. But when someone plays it that way, you just want to uninstall the game. Similar to Princess. So there are some people that like playing Princess on the bridge so much that it starts to get really, really annoying. 
Uh, anyways, this is all for the video. If you guys want to suggest me what other deck I should play in the next video, make sure to let me know. And for now, I wish you a great day, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye-bye.